You know, feeders today for wildlife management come in a lot of different shapes and sizes from large scale, two ton industrial ones all the way down to small bag feeders for like 10 pounds. Each person in each feeder has its own time, its own need, its own application out there. For a lot of people, they like a feeder that they can basically pick up in a box, they can easily build, they can transport it in say a truck, they don't need to have a big trailer to be able to haul a lot of stuff, but they want the ability to have a large capacity feeder so that they don't have to go to the ranch or go to the farm or go to the deer lease all the time. Simply because it may be too far away or they just don't have time in the off season. That's why this American Hunter 440 pound KD feeder is definitely one that somebody looking for those needs and attributes should pay attention to, take a look at. Some of the great features that I like right away on this setup here is it's not a very high feeder. For a lot of people, I, I call it a stand and fill feeder, which is really nice for some of those remote off the beaten path locations. It also holds 440 pounds of, of corn. So when you start thinking about a guy that's got a long way to travel to his hunting location, maybe he can't get out there but once every month month and a half or even longer you can put you know almost nine bags at 50 pounds a bag of corn into this and then set your timers up to eight different feeds various amounts of time and you've got a low maintenance opportunity for your management of your game program in those types of situations when you start looking a little bit deeper into the construction of this i mean you've basically got you know, a very well-built frame on the bottom. It's steel with some galvanized steel leg supports that are gonna allow it to be able to be mounted and hold up to a lot of different weather conditions out there. It comes with a varmint cage, which is very important to keep the raccoons, the squirrels, and birds from getting in there. It's got the, the no-blow feeder cup, which is, is something on the spinner that I really like so that you're not wasting as much game once your timer is done throwing and spinning from the motor scenario. A little simple thing a lot of people don't really think about is this actually this digital timer has a memory setting in there that preserves all the settings that you've got for up to three minutes while you're changing out the batteries itself and that's really important because that's a time saver and in today's world we all like to save time. Another great uh, option here is you can either use a 6 or 12 volt battery for this. Rechargeable batteries are the ones I obviously like to use the most. And you've got three different power settings once it comes down to the RPMs you want that motor to turn so you can control the distance that the feed's going to be throwing out. So if you're looking for a feeder that you can easily load in your pickup when you're you know running through town, heading it out to your deer lease, you're looking for one to set up. Everything comes contained in this one box right here. The instructions are very easy to read, very easy to use. One person can go out there and set it up, deploy it, get it ready to go, and you're gonna be able to feed you know, 440 pounds in a variety of feed manners in a variety of times a day. Check it out, the American Hunter 440 pound KD feeder.